One thing before we, we take the break, and yeah. I saw that Courtney's crossed it out, but I do want to address this. I want to address the roughing the passer calls because Troy Vincent was on ESPN, the same network that televised last night's game, last night's game on Sunday, and told us everything we need to know about what's going on with roughing the passer. So I would like to see some of that trickle into the broadcast. I, when, when there's a, a questionable call, and there were two of them last night, Morgan Fox hit Russell Wilson, and it was flagged Bradley Chubb, Hit Justin Herbert. When in and doubt, flag. whip it out. Well, and that's what – that's what – I it, I don't care if John Perry agrees with the call or not. That doesn't tell me what's going on. What's going on is the referees are told, when in doubt, whip it out. And I want to hear Troy Aikman say that. If he's going to say Seagar on the show, I want to hear him say, when in doubt, whip it out. Because that is what they want them to do. So it doesn't matter if our frame-by-frame -frame review of the play – tells us that there was or wasn't helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact or there was or wasn't burping of the quarterback or full body weight. It doesn't matter whether we actually see it. What matters is they tell them, you've got the latitude to be wrong. We want you to be wrong because we basically want a force field around these quarterbacks. We want the defensive players to think twice before they hit them because we don't want them to get hit. We don't want them to get hurt. This is the polar opposite of Bounty Gate. We want to do everything we can to keep these guys healthy so more people will tune in to watch Justin Herbert versus Russell Wilson instead of Chase Daniel versus Brett Rippon. That's what it's all about. And Troy Vincent told us that on the same network the day before. So it doesn't matter whether you agree with it or disagree with it. What is happening here is they're told it's okay to be wrong. Go ahead and be wrong. Yeah, I understand that. I get that. But it's wrong. And it's wrong about the sport. And it needs to be fixed. And it needs to be adjusted. Oh, I know. So, but but the, 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 the fans who aren't watching yeah, the pregame shows, yeah, I got and we you. know the numbers tell us, especially the morning pregame shows, they're right, not watching. Right. It needs to be communicated to the fans during the games that this is what's happening so they understand it. So, so I mean, they still may be pissed off, but at least they understand what's going on. We need to tear down that wall and be transparent about it. And I'm calling on all networks to do it, including ours. You need to do it during the games so the fans understand what's happening. So it's not, are these referees blind? Are they inept? Are they corrupt? No, no, no. The league is telling them, don't be afraid to be wrong. That's why it's happening. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's, it's egregiously wrong. It's stupidly wrong. We're calling flags for kissing guys on the cheeks now. I mean, it, it's, it's horrible. And it, again, it's natural. It's messing with the natural bylaws of football. It's taken away intimidation. Let me make the quarterback feel uncomfortable. And the biggest thing is that it's taking away. And this, uh, this play again, this one's, I, I don't have a problem with this, even though he was pushed into that guy, which where you go, I, I don't know what you want him to do. You know, we didn't see the full. When in doubt, but when in doubt, it know. looks like it. So you throw it. And I'm at the point now where I'm bracing. Every time a quarterback gets hit, I'm bracing for the flag. Well, Are we going to get it? That, it's and like that's, flipping that, a coin. And that's wrong. That's wrong. That's a, that's, that's a blatant ruining the sport moment, Mike. That's wrong. And it's wrong because this is too. Every, I don't know. Right now, the 2002 Ravens could never win the Super Bowl. The 2015 Broncos could not win the Super Bowl. The 85 Bears could not win the Super Bowl. The 86 Giants couldn't win the Super Bowl. Probably two out of the three early Patriot dynasties could not win the Super Bowl because they'd be illegal hitting the quarterback too hard, too much. And it would be, we got we to gotta give them first, first down, first down, first down. It, it's taken away a huge... Like, if you don't have a superstar quarterback, then you're just not allowed to win anymore in football. That's basically what they're doing. That's basically what they're doing, and I hate it. And I'm going to continue to get on them about it. It has to be changed. Owners, meet up. Are they meeting today or next today, Tuesday? Today. Yeah, get today. that shit straight. Hurry up. Six words, I think. Get that shit straight? No. Oh. No, oh. no. <laughs> here's, here's the reality of the NFL. Defense wins championships. Offense makes money. And that's what it is. I said this last week. There should be a firewall between the integrity of the game and the NFL's business interests. And Troy Vincent's appearance on ESPN convinced me that they have torn the wall down. And they're admitting it. He started rattling off that 95 of the top 100 most viewed shows on TV last year were NFL games. We want that to continue. It's not about the integrity of each game. We're willing to screw a team. This is basically what they're saying. We're willing to screw a team with 15 yards of field position and an automatic first down that saves a drive and, and hurts the other team. 
We're willing to do that if it means sending the message there's a force field around these quarterbacks. We want them to be preserved. We want them to be healthy. We want them to be able to play. Why has it gotten because worse, we wanna, though? We want to make money. Why has it gotten worse? Why, that's where I, Nobody's gotten uh, maybe, hurt maybe in 10 because, years. Maybe – Nobody maybe gets hurt. Trying to, I know, but maybe they're trying to. Maybe they're trying to hold these old quarterbacks together as long. Maybe as they that can. boring ass game last night would have been better if you could hit the freaking quarterback. Maybe that would have been better. And maybe that Colts shitty ass game on Thursday night against the Broncos would have been better if you could punish the quarterback and maybe would have some strict stack fumbles, turnovers, and some things to tune into. But instead, it's patty cake, patty cake, Baker's man around the quarterback. It's wrong. It's wrong. And, and 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 it's not affecting the sport that much. Peyton Manning retired. Tom Brady retired next year and we'll all watch the Bucks play. It's we're not going to go, "Oh no, Tommy's not the quarterback's not there." We all watch. Doesn't really matter. It's not that important. They're ruining the sport. It's it's stupid. It's it's as you could tell it really bothers me. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.